Hey there, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Sago and I started my aerospace engineering studies back in 2017. I studied at the University of Sheffield in the UK and these are all the subjects I did in my first year. I also joined a student project called Sunbite where we were supposed to develop a sun tracking telescope to launch on a high altitude balloon. In this project, I was predominantly working as a software slash electronics engineer because that's like the main skills I had at the time when I was in first year. And as part of that project, I had the opportunity to go to the USA twice over the summer between my first and second year because I had to go and test the payload in America and then also go and launch the payload in America. So I was in the US two separate occasions. Once I got back to the UK from the second trip to the USA, I was on a plane all the way to Belgium as I was selected to partake in a European Space Agency training course. So that's basically the summary of first year. So let's move on to second year. In second year, these are all the modules I did. And I also flew a plane because that was part of one of the modules where I had five flight hours. I also had to present to the CEO of Skyrora and Skyrora is a rocket company in the UK and I had to basically tell him all the cool space projects that the University of Sheffield are doing. This year I also was promoted to project leader in Sunbite so had to basically manage everything that goes on in the project and subsequently I was also able to go to the USA twice again once for testing the new payload and also launching the new payload. And that's basically a wrap of second year. Moving on to third year. My third year began with me sitting on a plane and flying all the way across the planet because I was doing my study abroad year in Sydney. So here's a list of all the subjects I did when I was studying at the University of New South Wales in Sydney. Some of the highlights of this year was that I learned how to surf, which was pretty cool. And I also met a bunch of startup founders in the city as well. Some of them also working on space technology startups. But unfortunately, halfway through my study abroad year, COVID happened and well, I have to basically return back home and live with my parents again. I ended up completing some of the exams I was meant to do in Australia, but at home. So the exams were sort of at 1 a.m. in the morning, which was kind of annoying, to be honest. And there we have it. That's a wrap for third year. Moving on to my final year, which is the master's year of my MEng degree. These are all the subjects I had to study in my fourth year. This is also the year I had to write my dissertation and I chose the subject of my dissertation myself which was the aerodynamics analysis of a hypersonic electromagnetic gun projectile for space launch purposes. This station mostly consisted of doing comp computational fluid dynamics and also literature review. In this year I also joined another student project just for a very short amount of time which was Project Sunride which is all to do with making a student made rocket. I wasn't heavily involved in this project like I was in Project Sunbite in my first and second year However, I did a bit of CFD here and there to help out the team. In this year, I also had to apply for careers after university. So I've been applying for aerospace and tech jobs. I ended up realizing that I enjoyed tech and coding much more than I did actually doing CFD and CAD. However, this may not be the end of my aerospace journeys, who knows, but for now I am going into software engineering and that's where I work currently. And that is basically a wrap of my fourth year and my entire aerospace education and journey through university. Hope you enjoyed it.